eTransmit is probably the best way to send files to other people. Anytime you need to send your files to another person, you have to make sure that you get all the X references. You got to make sure that you send them the font. You got to make sure them, that you send them your pen settings. All these different things to make sure that whenever they receive your file and they attempt to plot it or open it and modify it, that everything is the same way that you had it on your system. If you got to do that manually, you got to go and copy all these different files to the email or burn them to disk or whatever. But AutoCAD has a, a much easier way to do this. You can use the eTransmit command. The eTransmit command is found on the ribbon if you go to the output tab and we see it right here. It's also located if we click on our menu browser and click on files and we see it right here as well. When we execute the eTransmit command, we get this dialog box to create our transmittal. The first tab is the file tree and it just kind of shows all the different files that it's including. In this case I have an external reference so it's going to include that external reference. It's going to include my CTB file and it's going to create and include a font map file. We can also see this displayed in a file table in which it lists the same items. If we'd like we could also add some additional files by clicking this button right here it will bring up a browser and we could add additional drawing files or fonts or whatever we want it to add. So for example if we had several drawings in this set we could execute the e-transmit from one of the drawings and then go in and select the rest of the drawings by clicking add files. And with every file that we add it will also look to see if it has X references associated with it also. Over here on the side we see the transmittal setup that we're using and right now we're using the one called standard. And if we go to transmittal setups, we can customize this. We can either create a new one or we can modify the existing one. So I'm just going to modify standard, but you could just as easily create a new one and base it off of standard and then make your changes and save it as a new style. So I'm going to click modify and we get this dialog box here. We can package our transmittal drawings into a zip file or into an, a self-extracting executable file or we could just send them all to a certain folder that we select. I'm going to leave it set to zip file. We can also select the file format. This is one of the great things about eTransmit. If you're sending to a consultant that's using an older version of AutoCAD than you, you know how much, of a tr how much trouble it is to go and do a save as on every single drawing to save it down to say AutoCAD 2000 or 2002 or something like that. Well, right here we can select the format that we would like to save it down to. So we can save it to AutoCAD 2000, AutoCAD 2004, or AutoCAD 2007. Each one of those is a different file format than AutoCAD 2008 and 2009. In my setup, I'm actually running a copy of AutoCAD called AutoCAD Architecture. And so it has these additional options to save to these different file formats and explode the AEC objects. If you're running just the regular version of AutoCAD, those items will not be there. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to save it down to AutoCAD 2000. Here we tell it what folder we would like to put our transmittal file in. And so if you'd like to change that, you just select the button and browse to the folder that you would like to add it. We can also give it the file name or we can tell it to prompt us for the file name. We can tell it to overwrite if necessary, and or we can tell it to incrementally name the file as necessary. Here's our path option, and this is where the folder that it's going to organize all the files into. And we can tell it to place all the files in one folder, or we can tell it to keep the files in the folder as is. So it, re it replicates the same file structure that we have. Over here we can tell it to send an email with the transmittal, set the default plotter to none if we don't want it to come up and possibly tell them that they don't have the plotter that we actually have ours configured to. We can tell it to bind the X references so they don't have to worry about the X references. They'll just, they'll just be in there to begin with. You have to be kind of careful with this because sometimes we clip our X references and do some different things like that and if you bind them you might lose some information in the, in the process. We can make it password protected and we can also purge the drawing whenever we create it to reduce the file size. Some other options we have is we can tell it to include the fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. If this has 3D information, we can tell it to include the texture for the materials, but I'm going to go ahead and unselect that. We can include the files from the data links, and we can also include the photometric web files. And again, if you're using those items, you would include them, but most of you 
will not be using those. And we can give a transmittal description right here if we would like. Once we're finished customizing this to meet our needs, we can tell it OK, and then we can tell it Close. And you can see that it's added the additional items here, mainly the fonts, and then we can tell it OK. It's going to prompt us for the file name, and we can change it if we would like. Notice that it put the name of the transmittal, the eTransmit settings, which we, we use a standard setting, so it put that in the name of the zip file as well. I'm going to tell it Save. It's going to go through and process each of the each of the drawings in which it's going to save them to the AutoCAD 2000 file format. And it's going to do the same for all the X references. It's going to copy all the fonts and everything that we told it into this package. And it creates our zip file. If I open the zip file, I see all the files that were added to it. I could add some additional files here if I would like or I could grab the files that I would like to send if I didn't want to send all these I could always extract just the ones that I want to send and put them in an email or I could just attach this entire zip file to the email so that's the best way to transmit drawings to other people in AutoCAD